mind freak. There was a little girl that died in his house, a brutal death in the 60s, and her spirit was so apparent to so many people. In one room in particular, room 34, I placed an envelope on the table. I left it there in full view for the entire time. I just felt that this is the place to come because of what people say they hear in this room, which is a baby crying. This block right here is basically a symbolic of the little girl that died in here. Hold on to the block. I, I want you to just close your eyes and imagine a little girl that may have actually held that block that you're holding right now. And I want you to take that block and pass it to your left and allow them to share that moment, to actually feel and think about and visualize what this little girl may have looked like. How many people here saw the little girl wearing a dress? He then asked every celebrity just to think and see if you could get an impression to what color her dress might be. And the consensus was that the dress was pink. Pink dress, no pattern, right here, white at the bottom. That's what I have. Okay, so everybody's kind of, but no pattern. Okay, so put not. I want you just all to feel a moment in time, a month that may have been so significant for this little girl. What month are you feeling? August. August. I want you to think about a specific day of the month. What day are you thinking? The 12th. The 12th. Steve, I want you to visualize her shoe color right now. Color is shoe. Um, gold. Gold? Gold. What's the eye color? I had a blue. Write it down. What color is her hair? Dirty color. brown. This was a picture taking of this little girl. <laughs> August 12th, 1963. No. <laughs> so We're funny. all very in tune people here. Right. <laughs> yeah, I said it was a band at the bottom. No the way. white band. Yeah. You got the shoes. Gold shoes. Look at that. And Goose dirty bumps. brown hair. Each celebrity had the free will to choose whatever they wanted, and that picture of that little girl matched perfectly. I could like sense her playing a man coming in totally hard. Is that That's what you think would happen? Okay, now you're freaking me out. Are you okay? <laughs> no, let's just cut the cameras. Let's cut the cameras. Let's cut the cameras. It's more real when you. See you know, see her face and you see her as a little girl and not just as a something you're imagining. Right. And everybody's talking about it and then all of a sudden you pull something out that we're all talking about and it's it's as you were somewhat picturing it. Some weird ass sh oh. we're going in there now. We wanted to try to get in touch with the spirit of the little girl to see if she could tell us what her name was. So I brought my guests out onto the porch. In the very center of that area, there was a round table with letters of the alphabet on it and a glass. First off, I want you to see is just a, exactly what it is. So you can look underneath it. Chris then wrote out a name, a name that just came to him. And he wrote it, rolled it up into a little ball, put it under the glass. He asked the celebrities to take their fingers and put it on the glass and just relax. Don't move the glass, just relax. I just want you to allow the energy to control you do not push, do not pull, just allow, allow, <laughs> please do not break contact. All right, the glass is moving specifically to M, it looks like. It's an M. <laughs> Look at this. Don't touch, place. touch that, touch that. Don't let go. Do not break the contact. Oh, Do not my break God. the contact. Do not break the contact. There's an A. An A. 
Now, in all seriousness, are you moving this? No. Are you moving? Are you, are you, are you not moving no, this? I can just not. not be touching right now. Steve, it's like are you a moving this? No, I'm sure as hell I'm not. Oh my God. That's an R. That's an M A R. Oh my God. It's coming back to you again. Mary. Mary? It was M A. Oh, M A R Y. M A R Y. Oh. What else could be? This is so up. I swear to God. I just felt the weirdest thing. I'm not even with you. I just saw this little girl. And I just felt an unbelievable thing just take over my body. And I, and I could see her. And I literally wrote down a name. Oh just do me a, Just lift the glass. Oh, I don't want to touch anything. Just do me a favor. Just take that out. <sighs> my hand just felt like it. I took my fingers off it. Yeah, I took my fingers off it. And it continued to move. I thought it was him. But then he took his fingers off. I was like, oh, hell no. But the glass was moving real fast. Well, it was gliding. It was extremely difficult at this point to get them to go back in the workers' area. Mary used to sit and play with her friend here. And so I thought this specific spot was a place to come and try to actually bring Mary's spirit. Mary, are you here, Mary? Mary, I want you to give us a sign. Give us a sign, Mary. Give us a sign. <coughs> Mary, give us a sign. Oh, my God. No, oh, no, right. no, no. <laughs> are you here, Mary? Mary, are you here? Show us. Show us you are here, Mary. No. Show us you are here, no. Mary. No. Mary, show no. us you are here. No. Show us you are here now. Give us a significant sign, no, Mary, no. that you are here right now, Mary. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm Let's go. Let's go. I want you to look above. Is there any strings no, or any no, wires no, no. here? No, no. Anything no. rigged with this table? No, no, no. Seriously. Let's take some people out. We'll examine that. Let me take some people out here real quick. Get the f out of here. There's not a s move. Hey, baby, right? Hey, baby. Good night. First the room. Yeah. Now we're going to go in the room. What I felt in that room, and then now this. I'm. Are you kidding me? I'm. I that room, that, where we were, was right outside the room that I... I know, it was the window. That we both, I mean, that everybody kind of freaked out. That's the one that made me cry. You okay? Yeah. Okay. You sure? All right. You okay? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to let her I don't know. Okay. I don't think I can go back in there. No, we're not going in there. We're going into the opera. That was a heavy ass. Well, the tail was, yeah. The tail was dusted. I tricked every dime, every nut, bolt on it, screw, anything that could have made it lift up my bun. I tricked all that. You all right? Yeah, I'm just freaked out. And I'm from New Mexico. We have some scary shit that happens there. Chris Angel contacts the dead. If you are here right now, okay. give us a sign. They don't mean any harm. Coming up. <laughs> 